Hello ladies and gentlemen, my name is Restef, well, at least that's what I'm going to say my name is for the purpose of these videos, and we're playing a bit of Colour Sym Symphony, a game which I haven't actually played before, it's a let's try. This is a free game I found, and it claims to, I've only read a short description of it, so I have no idea what the game is actually about, but it seems to be suggesting that it uses colour, and you use, you use colour to solve puzzles or to complete the game. So it basically it's got colour as a major theme, I'm not sure how, and we're going to play it. Uh, the first thought I had was, interesting, I'm going to see if it's any good and record it. The second thought I had was, what about colourblind people? That would be an interesting thing, if the, the game was unplayable by the colourblind. Let's see if there's any... No, there doesn't seem to be any colourblind mode, I know some games have colourblind mode. Uh, thankfully, I'm not colourblind, so we'll see. Maybe it would be a problem, maybe it wouldn't be, like I said, I haven't played the game, so... If you were suddenly deserted, uh, apparently... And abandoned in a place no one knows. Okay. Well, there's quite clearly a lot of people who know that city because they live there. Can you bear that situation? Probably not. I'd probably go insane if I had to be on my own. To be honest, and I felt all that abandonment. I'm digging. I'm actually digging this intro. It's got style. It's got good music. This is our character, I presume. He looks quite badass. Who is hurt by a trusted friend? I know that feel. I know that feel. Oh, you mean literally hurt? I did Oh, right. I thought you meant emotionally hurt. Oh, and flew into hell. I, I don't actually know that feel. Hmm. I'll know it by the end. In reality, with no pleasure or no happiness. Ha! Huh, sounds like school! And now... He's jumping from a building. Or being thrown off a building. Start a dangerous journey to grab the vast... the last ray of light. So, there's something to do with light and colour as a theme here. Whoa, here we are. Okay. So, we are this dude. We can jump, we can walk. If we press space plus space, we double jump, I believe. That seems to be what's suggesting. Yep. Oh, shit. <laughs> that was a bit stupid of me. So, it appears to be some sort of platforming game. Right, so. It, yeah, if you see these crystals down here at the bottom, I, I just pointed to them even though you can't see my fingers, but basically, you can turn things blue, green, or sort of cream. So we manipulate the background to make things disappear like a painting. That's really interesting use of perspective. We also jump, so we can switch these around pretty easily. Okay. Right, so there's no platform there because it's blue. But if we uh, change it, then that platform will appears. Okay, they could, this could go interesting places. I want to see how they do this. So we can get rid of that bird. I'm pretty, yeah, I'm going to get rid of that bird. It looks looks spooky. Oh, the birds are going to go after me, aren't they now? Yeah. So they, I'm, I'm thinking those birds are probably enemies. Oh, shit. That was a bit dumb of me. So, that's how, so you lose a lot of health hitting an obstacle. But where are the ones who betrayed me? Got no idea, man. I got no idea. Just checking all these little screens to see if there's anything up, and there isn't. Let's switch to the green. The green, to me, looks like the nicest background. Right, do we just drop? Oh no, there's another place to go here. So these levels seem fairly easy. Ah! So if I turn back to blue, that will go, so I need to be aware. Oh, I can make it from here, can I? Ah, that's not good. Let's not, let's not get into contact with that two-headed wolf. I'm getting paranoid now that I'll see something interesting if I change the colours. I just see blue. Oh, we got... What does V do? I've got no idea what V... I just... Uh, what? Right, so... It's telling me to press V. I'm not sure what that actually does. Oh, I see. V... Z... X, C... And V, Z... XC. Where's my HP going up and down? I don't get this. Right, so hang on. V, Z, plus X, plus C. Anyway, let's, um, so. It needs to be blue, and... It needs to be blue, and as we're running through, we turn it to green very quickly. Okay, that's not going to work. Yes, I do want to continue. It's an interesting idea. So what does V actually do? 
Right, V gets rid of all my health, it seems. And drains this bar at the bottom. And then it sort of disables some of this stuff for a minute. But also takes away all my health. And uh, I got back up there and died instantly because I was in the middle of that. Yeah. So what, does it allow me to step more than one for a time? It does! Okay, okay, I get it now. Right. Yeah, let's die because I'm on health. So basically, what V does is it allows you to have more than one colour active. Uh, I think. Or something like that. It does something like that. There we are. Oh! Oh no, it just turns all the colours off. Okay, now I, I get it now. The world has been has, cha has been changed so much, so I can't find anything that I had in the past. I'm wondering if there's been language barriers associated with this game, because the description on Steam, on the Steam page, looks like it had been written poorly in English. This, oh, that's the same it says before. But the grammar seems to be fairly correct right now. And I'm no grammar Nazi, so it doesn't matter much to me. Sometimes I'm a grammar na Nazi, it depends on on the particular piece of grammar. So it looks like it's being set up to be a pretty cool uh, puzzle game. Not too much difficulty to it yet, but of course all puzzle games, well, all good puzzle games start off easy. Shit. Quickly go to blue, quickly go to blue, quickly go to blue, quickly go to blue. Okay, now as I jump, turn to... Oh shit, wrong colour. Okay, there we are. Whew. I can see this really messing up some colourblind people. Oh, that just dropped to death, is it? I I didn't know where to go then. It's quite abstract, isn't it? This is obviously isn't the... Shit, why'd I do that? No, don't let me die, no! Fuck it out. It's very abstract. It's obviously not a uh, representation of the real world. So it's obviously some sort of metaphor, I believe. Oh, you could—you know what you could tell this as? You could tell this as something to deal with depression, couldn't you? All the, all the colours gone from the world, and you have to put it back in. I mean, I'm just saying, you know. I, I think I do look for metaphors too much in my video games, though. Well, when I say my video games, I mean the video games I play. Oh, shit. Ah. The, we got to, um... Turn things green and then drop down here because I've just saw this bridge I didn't see before. Get rid of blue. Can we not drop down? Yeah, we can. We've got rid of that chain there and I didn't even know I was doing that. Drop down here. And just skip across this bridge. So, having looked into this game a bit. Oh, shit. That wasn't a good idea. I think, yeah, I just put blocks there where they shouldn't be, right, there. Uh, having played this game about 10 minutes now, I think this is actually quite interesting. I like the idea that there's a, an abstract story going on, it's definitely an idea I haven't seen used before. So, there was no answer even though I shouted numerous times. Oh, so he's gone to his old house or his friend's house or something. Right, don't turn it green. Oh shit, now I have to turn it green. Well, in a minute. Oh, I've landed on the door. That's kind of cool. Um, puzzle games like this usually, usually don't have health bars. Fuck. I didn't expect the bird to get me there. I was expecting to have a minute to press the button. Puzzle games like this, I don't think usually have health bars. It's definitely half puzzle, half platformer. There's a lot of platforming elements, but the platforming is fairly easy, so I'm still going to class it as a puzzle game. Oh! Um, get rid of the... Oh, never mind. This, there's, a, there's an interesting player perspective here, because you change the background to get rid of colours. And as you can see, this might as well be in the forefront of this car. But it's in the background. So it's definitely a fully 2D game, and I think it's basically using sort of artistic techniques um, as a way of... as a way of creating challenge. There is a s sort of... I'm thinking to myself, this can't really go many places. Like I said, it was a free game, so I'm not expecting huge amounts of shit. I'm not expecting a hugely big game or a lot of innovation, but it, 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 I'm wondering where this could go. The story, it looks like one of those stories that's not actually going to get developed. Like, the whole point of it is that it goes nowhere. 
Yeah, it's actually more of a platformer than a puzzle game now that I'm struggling at this bit. You've got to switch the colours quite fast. Balls. I'm thinking of just getting rid of the bird and just dealing with the wolf. That's what I'm thinking of right now because the wolf, the wolf seems less likely to get you. Yes. Ah, oh, a bit of nimbleness got me through that. Um, there we are. Let's wait for the blue platform. <laughs> wow, okay. Uh, I just slipped on the button. So, that was Colour Symphony. I might play a bit more of this on the channel if you want. A free game I just found has an interesting idea. It's free, it's interesting. Just go play it. Go actually, like, just go to Steam or uh, maybe the developers have a website or something. If there is, I'll put that in a link in the description. Just go and play it. Seems interesting, you might like it. I, I kind of do, I think it's a good idea.